While we continue to keep a close eye on Tropical Storm Nicholas, as of the 10 p.m. advisor, it remains a, a tropical storm. 40 mile an hour winds moving on off to the north slowly here at about two miles an hour. The latest cone from the National Hurricane Center has taken this storm a little bit further off to the east, which is some good news here in the coastal bend, but uh, the impacts have been shifted a little bit further off to the east. We're still in the cone of uncertainty. You can see it can make landfall anywhere from near Corpus Christi up towards uh, the Galveston and Houston areas. Now it is expected to strengthen tropical storm strength with winds of about 60 miles an hour gusts of about 70 miles an hour. So still tropical storm. We need a uh, sustained wind at 74 miles an hour for it to be a hurricane. So well under hurricane strength expected. We got a lot of wind shear. That Nicholas has to move through over the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. That keeps it from strengthening, although it will be moving over water. And then expected landfall here is uh, Monday evening into Tuesday morning. Uh, winds sustained 65 miles an hour, gusts approaching hurricane strength 75 miles an hour. But that cone has been shifted once again a little bit further off to the east. But we are under a tropical storm warning here for the entire coastal bend that lasts until Tuesday afternoon here and also a hurricane watch up towards Rockport, Port Aransas, extending off towards the Port O'Connor area because we may see those wind gusts approaching hurricane strength that is 74 miles an hour. So uh, with gusts upwards about 75 miles an hour, that is why they issued that hurricane watch for those areas just as a precaution that we may see wind gusts of hurricane strength. Future models here. This is the RPM model. We think this is done pretty good idea at placement and timing of this system. Uh, tomorrow morning we see some of those heavier bands working their way back into the coastal bend, the center of the storm down here towards Brownsville as we head towards the afternoon hours moving on off to the north. This storm is going to hug the Texas coastline tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. You see by 2 p.m. southeast of the Corpus Christi area, we see those heavier bands working their way on in. So tomorrow morning, relatively quiet. We'll have some rain to deal with, but the wind and the intensity of the rain increases throughout the entire day. Worst impacts are going to be tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening as this storm center moves just off the coast of Corpus Christi and just off the coast of the coastal bend. On the northeast side of the storm is the dirty side of the storm where we see those storm surge, those winds off the coast. Once the center moves north of our area, we'll see wind shifting out of the northwest and that conditions will greatly improve as you get towards Tuesday morning. Uh, Tuesday morning into Tuesday afternoon, you see the storm pushing on off to the north, bringing the flood risk up towards the Houston area and we quiet things down. Uh, by Tuesday afternoon. So wind speeds between Monday afternoon and Tuesday morning has been shifted a little bit further off to the east. We're still expecting 50 to 60 mile an hour winds. The greatest winds are going to be off to the north and northeast right along that forecast track. If this does shift a little bit uh, more over the next 12 to 24 hours, these winds can shift once again. But the latest models once again have shifted that track a little bit further off to the east. So the greatest winds have been shifted eastward. Still 40 to 50 mile an hour winds possible from Padre Island, Rockport up towards Port Aransas, 30 to 40 mile an hour winds for Corpus Christi and off to the west. And then if you're in our western counties, not really expecting uh, much wind from this system. Severe weather, we'll have to watch that carefully as well. A marginal risk, that's a level one out of five from Padre Island, Rockport, Port Aransas off to the northeast, where we may see some of those strong storms moving on in on the northeast side of the center of Nicholas. Meanwhile, Rain is going to be the big threat here. We're seeing upwards of about four to eight inches. Some pockets here of about 12 inches of rain. So that's a foot up towards Ingleside, Port Aransas, Rockport. The most rain is going to be once again where that center comes on and then much less rain off to the west. Flood risk you see moderate category off to the northeast. That's where we expect the greatest amount of flooding. So your effects tomorrow and Tuesday, two to four foot storm surge, wind gusts in excess of 65 miles an hour, especially near the coast. Rainfall 48 inches, waves six to eight feet, six to 10 seconds on that period. And that rip current risk is in the high category. Flooding is going to be the big concern from the system. Live look at SBID. We're quiet right now. Been quiet the past several several hours. Temperatures running near 80 degrees, and that radar is relatively quiet. But a few showers trying to make their way in. That's going to be the case. More rain overnight and into your Monday, and then Monday afternoon, Monday evenings when we're going to be under the gun. I'll have more on that come up in a few minutes. Brian.